Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today it's a short one. I just wanted to show you what I found from my parents' house. This is the stuff that I used to read as a kid. These were the original Dragon Ball um, yeah, little mag manga magazines. Uh, and this one specifically because I was in Spain at the time is in Spanish. So one of the curiosities you can see is that uh, this is the edition number, so this is the third one of all of, of all of them, and this was the price, 195 pesetas, which is uh, chump change nowadays, but it was not for everybody even then. Uh, you can see here this is a Spanish edition, printed in Spain, and then they had uh, advertising other uh, anime and mangas on the back. I never even heard of this one, but um, but yeah, but there's a funny story about this particular one uh, because um, well, first me first let me just show you a little bit how it how it used to be back then. So even inside you would have advertisement from for other animes that for most kids they never really got curious about that. They just wanted the the poke the Dragon Ball stuff, and this is one of the early parts where Goku already knows Bulma. And he's trying to get one of the poke, one of the sorry, the Pokemon, <laughs> one of the Dragon Balls. And this is all black and white. And as a kid, you don't really realize it. We thought, okay, this is an invitation to to paint. So this is what I did in one of them. And most kids also did that. They would just paint uh, because you know it was it was like an invitation that you would, uh, yeah, try to fill in with your own colors what you would like to see. And we didn't realize because this is the cultural difference from Japanese books like that and the European ones is that when it's like this in Europe you think it's you, you can just paint what you want but of course that's not what they do in Japan anyway for this particular edition there's a funny story because uh, if you don't know the story uh, this uh, older guy which I forgot his name is quite perverted and always looking to score with the ladies and Bulma realized that she can take advantage of that to get his own uh, Dragon Ball and she just has to show you know the her underwear except in this case she's not wearing any underwear <laughs> so once my parents found out that I that I had this and there was like this explicit nudity and there's another one of these magazines I have somewhere where this is happening uh, they just took it away from me they just cursed the Japanese, they thought they were perverted devils, and my parents are not even religious, so you can imagine how <laughs> how much of a shock it must have been that even they thought it was too much for kids to be seeing this. Uh, yeah, another funny one of this one is that uh, Goku is uh, patting his own future wife that he doesn't know, Chi Chi, uh, thinking, oh, you don't have... Uh, you don't have, <laughs> you don't have uh, something like I do down there, and he gets hit by Bulma out of the embarrassment. But yeah, this is uh, this is how it used to be back then. You would buy these, and you would just, and these would come weekly, I think, and you would just have these whole collections of these uh, in your in your yeah shelf, and you would read them and uh, collect them. And later on, I would also get some of the the condensed versions of this. So instead of being like this big one, it would be maybe about this big and more like a book thickness, but still the same kind of, like a normal manga book, basically. But these were the little magazine almost strips or booklets that you could get back then. And this one in particular, I believe is from the year, should say here somewhere. I think it's 1996 or 1997. Something like that. Yeah, I think it's 1990. Copyright 1997. So that's how old it is. It's almost 30 years old. Uh, but yeah, we just we just saved this and uh, we kept it. So yeah, if you have uh, these as well, uh, English, Japanese, or Spanish, uh, share them on the comments. I'm curious to see also if you have videos of these uh, to go down the memory lane. Um, my parents have all my older ones in some box but hopefully now they're moving and I can uh, I can find them again because I'm really curious to to get that nostalgia 
uh, and, as, and as soon as I find it, I will make a video again. But yeah, that was it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.